I think it's low tide now, so the water is not there. We've just come to our first stop of the day, and this is a mangrove forest. Uh, it's actually part of a big estuary here, and on the other side, we saw a lot of big um, petroleum refinery type, uh, and maybe it's storage for petroleum products. Uh, so it it looks like this is the only pa part of the estuary which is actually still protected and uh, for a fee of one dollar you can enter inside and explore the boardwalk and you know things like that so yeah that guy was asking us to register and pay one dollar each now we have no clue what to expect this place was recommended by our uh, homestay Host. owner uh, her name is Sita she said this is a great way to spend a couple of hours in the morning exploring this part of uh, you know, this is outside of Delhi, it's not in Delhi. It's about 20 kilometers away from Delhi and it took us 40 minutes. And while riding, we saw so many mountains. It looked so beautiful. You know, we can't even begin yeah. to tell you that Timor Leste is so, so underrated. Like, they don't tell you anything about its natural mm -hmm. beauty. Everything on the news is about how bad it is to be here. Uh, in fact, the Canadian Travel Advisory even says don't go there unless it's critical and even if critical then think really hard about going there what have we here they have a library right in the middle of the mangrove forest and there are so many English books here. <gasps> wow! Ooh. Look! Oh my god! That view! Yeah, photo shoot. Looks like there's a photo shoot happening down there. Totally worth a long ride here in the hot sun. The views are spectacular. As you can see, there's multiple shades of blue over there. And that little patch uh, looks like a shallow reef for sure because it's got those light blue shades. And then there are many waves crashing over there. Remember that refinery I was telling you about? That's the one going right into the mangroves. I hear some strange creatures in the bushes. In the bushes? Yeah. Bushman? Look at the number of cactus plants here. Ooh. There's a seat over there. Yeah. Come and go sit there. Go, 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 go. So the one thing that we want to tell you about, you know, Timor Leste is, it's called the country of crocodiles. 
I thought I heard it. Anyways, there are so many wild saltwater crocodiles here. It's uh, not even a joke because a lot of people have been known to have died from crocodile attacks. In fact, as we were entering through the border at uh, Batugade, uh, right by the immigration control, like there's a beach and they say it's fully infested with crocs. So maybe if you don't come with the right visa, you might end up being thrown out. In this island, people believe that crocodiles are like their grandparents. So once their grandparents have died and they have taken the form of crocodiles. And they also believe that because of so many crocodile attacks, they believe that if a person has done something wrong, he or she will definitely be eaten up by crocodiles. And if they have not done anything, and even if they walk right beside the crocodile, the crocodile won't do anything to them. So this is the belief of the locals here. And that's how this is called crocodile karma. Now let's test and see if Navneet will be eaten up by the crocodile or not. Navneet, go walk beside it. We don't know where the cafe is, so let's go find out. just riding up this mountain and we found these beautiful uh, spots where we could see all of Delhi from. It's a beautiful viewpoint because in a panoramic setting you get to see all of Delhi, the mountains on both sides and the ocean out front. That's the Timorsi. So we were looking at that and then uh, we heard about this one memorial cafe that's been built at one of these viewpoints and that's how we found out. And as you can see behind me, there are big, big banners with a big story on it. Uh, it's basically a story about the involvement of Timorese and Portuguese soldiers, actually civilians who signed up to become soldiers and they joined hands with the Australian army to fight off the Japanese invasion during World War II. So this entire cafe is themed in that uh, storyline and all of these banners behind narrate events from 1939 till 1945. And the cafe itself has been set up as a memorial to offer respects to all of those Timorese people and Portuguese people who lived here for a long time in the mountains and who went to fight uh, the invaders. So now we have got a tomato and cheese sandwich and also a giant, what is this? Chocolate Ice chocolate. Milkshake? Yeah, it's got an Oreo and crispy chocolate. I claim, I claim it. I claim it, my friend. Enjoy. Okay. Mm. Too good. Mm, it's so nice. Just a gathering of dogs. Then what else? Can you explain what happens if somebody goes off the road? <laughs>
Do you translate with Portuguese or something? I don't have translate. On my phone it's there. Hello. Uh, bus to Mobisi. Mobisi? Uh, will it come here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. 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 okay, just wait on the bus. Will come. I want to go there tomorrow, that's okay. why. Okay, okay. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Is it a proper bus or a truck like this? <laughs> okay. It's a micro or a bus? Bus, bus? Big bus. Ah, okay. Obrigado. <laughs> right now. One fifty could fifty would have recording. Mm -hmm.